Guys, welcome to What's Barking Local. It's an absolute pleasure to be Yay. with you. My name is Jerry <laughs> Miller. It's great to be with you on a Wednesday mm. across the world, across Charlottesville and mm. Central Virginia. Um, What's Barking Local is powered by, ladies and gentlemen, none other than <laughs> Animal Connection, the Woo water cooler for everything <laughs> animal discussion in Charlottesville and Central Virginia. My Let's new favorite the phrase. Shot and welcome, <laughs> Patty Bowden. How are you, Patty Bowden? We're doing awesome. Uh, she's the businesswoman, the entrepreneur, the visionary behind Animal Connection. Um, the nails look nice. Aren't they festive? Recent? Ooh, yeah. I like the blue. Yeah, you know, it goes with Lily Pulitzer really well. <laughs> you know, you're like a, a Lily Pulitzer meets uh, entrepreneur meets chilling at the brewery, someone chilling told at me the yes, gun range. Somebody told me the other day was it was preppy camo. <laughs> I love that. That was great. <laughs> Oh, man. Thank so, you, Tootie Moncure. <laughs> Tootie? Tootie Moncure. That's a good first name, Tootie. I know. She's, she's awesome. Uh, we start the program, <laughs> guys, with the week that was at yeah. Animal Connection mm -hmm. in the McIntyre, McIntyre Plaza. For more than 17 years, Animal Connection has successfully served the Central mm -hmm. Virginia community. The show is yours, Patty Oh, Bowen. thank you. There's so much going on. I'm, I'm, I will make it really quick because we do want to get to our special guest, Cynthia Elke. Um, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that contributed to Green Dogs Unleashed last week for Della the Great Dane, who's expecting these, oh, big amount of puppies. And we were able to send a whole carload of really nutritious food for the mom and for the puppies. And there's still more coming in, and they'll still need more. So contact Animal Connection if you want to get in on that deal. Um, we can take plenty more donations. Uh, things that are coming up, it's it's Pet Appreciation Week. How about that? I love it. And we, we have a, a little thingy on our Facebook page. You can tell us what you appreciate about your pets. That's all you got to do. And we're randomly picking a winner every day. There's a gift certificate being given away. So, you know, that's, that's kind of fun. That you know, is. All you got to do is post a picture of your pet. Um, the next thing that's coming up is the Brewer's Ball is Ooh. next week. Right. And this is for Cystic Fibro... Uh, cystic fibrosis care. Our good buddy Dave Warwick at Three Notch Brewery is is a participant in this fundraiser. So of course we had to support Dave, you know. And um, there are going to be gift baskets and beer and good food. And you can still get tickets for this event. Um, contact us at Animal Connection if you want to know how to get tickets, or go to BrewersBall.com. Um, let's see what else is happening. Um, our guest next week is going to be with this really cool organization called Pints for Pups. Oh, yeah, I like beer. Yeah, I like everybody pups. likes beer, and they have a uh, they have an event in on June the 9th. Um, and what this is, it's it's being held at Coyote Hole Cider Works, which I'm not familiar with, but the people sponsoring it is Mahogany Ridge. Okay. And our good buddies, Jen Carter with Volhard Dog Nutrition, and they have a dog training camp for kids. This is the coolest thing. Um, the kids learn how to do training, agility, obedience, and even more importantly, uh, they're learning problem solving and team building and, you know, how to cooperate and work with animals. And so this Pints for Pups event is to raise money for uh, some children that really wanted to go and cannot afford to go. So we're donating some gift certificates and things for this Pints for Pups event so that these kids can afford to go. You can't so, prepare today. I, I am loaded for bear today. There's a lot going on. I can and tell. If that's, if that's not enough, and it darn well ought to be, <laughs> we're getting prepared for Take Your Dog to Work Day, which is Friday, June 21st. And we don't have all the details for that yet, but I know there's going to be a photo contest. I know there, there's going to be a workplace that's going to get little lunch bags and treats and all kinds of things that the dogs need for that day. And, and we'll have more details on that next week. I love it. That's the first sizzle reel right there. That's yeah. the best That's start a to any show. It's kind of crazy had. busy. <laughs> Look at you, a little broadcaster right here. I know. You taught <laughs> me well. Without a teleprompter either, Patty Bowden. I don't have a teleprompter, but I love index cards. You were that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. That was very good. Animal Connection, the McIntyre <laughs> Plaza guys, the longest running, most successful all natural pet store in Central Virginia. She, for 17 years, has made it the water cooler for animals mm -hmm. in our community. Um, and now, Patty Bowden, oh, you have welcome. Uh, wait, wait. There's one more thing. Oh. There's one more thing. Oh. And this is a freebie. Okay. Friday is free frozen treat Friday. And 
That's yeah. you. Malia and I have been really busy making um, things like with yogurt and bacon and banana and, and treats with blueberries and treats using some of our dehydrated food products and liver and this and the other. And they're, they're frozen bones. They're frozen little um, containers that your, your dog can take outside. But we're going to give away some free treats on Friday. Free frozen treat Friday. I love it. That's the end of the yes. sizzle reel right there. Now, Harris that's Tolbert. the end of it. There's the first one. <laughs> now the sizzle reel, on. <laughs> the highlights of the show. You, what we're doing with What's Barking Local, and she's the brains of the operation. She's undoubtedly doing this herself. We're just sitting shotgun with her as we're featuring folks, <laughs> individuals from the community that are making an impact, a positive impact in the community. You've welcomed yet another to What's Barking Local. Oh, yes. So we're welcoming today our friend Cynthia Elke. Cynthia has a really fun business called Rover's Recess. You've probably seen these people all over town because we love their logo. We love their shirts. And it's, it. yeah, it's Thank a midday you. dog walking service that she's had in Charlottesville for, I think, 20 some years, but 35 years all told. Uh, she started in Northern Virginia and then uh, happily escaped to Charlottesville and started the business here. And uh, Cynthia is also involved in the Companion Animal Fund. Uh, so we we like what's going on there, and so hey, Cynthia hey, Elke. Hey, hi, Pasa. <laughs> How are you? Very yeah. good. I'm ex excellent. Day. Uh, nice. Bringing the energy. And she uh, speaks in languages. Uh, she speaks dog as she well. She does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cynthia, uh, we will get out of your way. You let us know the who, what, when, where, and why of a business in our community that is in their twenty first year. First props to that, kudos to that. Heck yeah. Thank you, yeah. Um, Rover's Recess, the show's yours. So really I started back in 85 up in Northern Virginia doing midday dog walking and pet sitting thinking, oh, this would be a great career for me. I'll be all by myself, hanging out with animals. <laughs> life will be good. And then after about uh, six months of no life, because I was so busy, I started hiring people, and uh, a couple years later decided I needed to hire a manager because I didn't really like managing people. So I hired my husband, <laughs> oh, and <whoa>. uh, <laughs> so he's managing the people, and then the problems are still my problem because, you know, Friday night something goes wrong, it's still my problem because he's got to go deal with it, so I go deal with That's it. That's what cocktails so, are for. It was great. It went, by the time we sold that business in 98, we had 40 employees, Wow. and we had over 700 active clients, of which I think 125 uh, were midday dog walks every day. It's like So some of our employees did both. They were doing the pet sitting, and they were also doing the midday dog walking. Some of them just did one, some did the other. But we had 20-some 20, 20 people walking over 125 dogs a day. Amazing. Monday through Friday. And then, but Northern Virginia was Northern Virginia. And we mm -hmm. wanted to get, our heart, where, get where our heart belonged, down in the mountains. And uh, we chose the Charlottesville area because we had a lot of friends down here and decided to only do Monday through Friday midday dog walking get our mornings, evenings, mm -hmm. and weekends and holidays back to our lives, per All personal right. lives. And um, so I think, you know, somebody had told me about pet sitting in, in 85, and nobody was doing it. It was just unheard of. Everybody was had a neighborhood kid helping, or they took their animals to the vet or to a kennel or something right, like right. that. And I thought, that is perfect for me because I thought I was going to be a veterinarian, never followed through on the education, but always have loved critters. I'm a critter person. Even the <laughs> tiniest, salamanders, turtles, frogs, dogs, cats, anything. I just love to be around animals. And so it, it really satisfied my need for that. And um, then, uh, like I said, we moved down here and just are doing the Monday through Friday stuff, and I just love it. I love it. And love dogs. I just love dogs. Hanging out with dogs, nothing could be better. And today, actually, one of my employees needed me to help her walk some of her dogs because she hurt her back. And I was out walking dogs, and I'm like, this is the best job in the world, <laughs> walking dogs. So it was great, because they're always happy. You know, you show up mm -hmm. to walk a dog, and their tail's a wagon. I like dogs more than people. I do, too. I'll straight up say it. Yeah, well, I pretty much <laughs> most people. Yeah, there, there's a few exceptions. There are some wonderful people out there, too. But dogs just wear their hearts on their sleeves. You know, they love everybody, and especially when you're there to see them in the middle of the day. What you see is what you get. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. You, you just get some really great rewards right back. You get that wagon tail going, and... Uh, they're ready to roll out that door with you, you know, in all kinds of weather for the most part. So, Rover's Recess. That's the sizzle reel right there for Cynthia and Rover's Recess. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. I love the entrepreneurship. And then jump in here, Patty Bowden. I love the entrepreneur side. 
um, of you know, business, of uh, getting in the mindset of the founder. Mm -hmm. um, every day is a different day. Some days we're putting out fires. Some days we're going two steps forward, one step back. Exactly. Um, let me throw that to you here. As how did you grow the business in Northern Virginia so quickly? Forty employees speaks for itself. That's not a small business. That's a solid, strong business. It was seven hundred plus accounts. Good night. Yeah. I mean, managing that's got to be brutal. That's crazy busy. Yeah. I mean, that is busy, busy, busy. I mean, talk to us about the trials and tribulations of a business that size and then scaling it down a little bit when you move to Charlottesville in Central Virginia. Scale it down a lot, actually. Uh, with a pet sitting business with 700 current clients choosing you on an ongoing basis, there's a lot of details, especially when you're pet sitting because people travel, food, food uh, instructions change, you know, maybe a client will change the lock to their door and forget to tell you, and you get there and there's a key that doesn't work because they're, they're in Switzerland skiing or whatever. So that compared to midday dog walking in Charlottesville, if that were to happen in Charlottesville, I would just call the client at work and say, what'd you do to your door? We can't get in, you know, so <laughs> no problem. So it's a lot easier. The problems are a lot smaller with midday dog walking. The clients aren't out of town. They're all in town. And um, it's just in the, the uh, schedules... For a lot of the clients, choose us the same days every week. Not all are Monday through Friday. Some are, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, or whatever. But and then they change too. So that's the manipulation part where mm -hmm. their schedule changes. And what's changed from when I did it in Alexandria or in Northern Virginia compared to down here is really the digital technology we're in right now. Because mm -hmm. back then, I mean, when I started it, nobody had cell phones. We had pagers. Oh my you know, gosh. and you'd have to find pagers. a phone booth if you're out driving around, <laughs> and it was crazy, you know, uh, with changes, or somebody, a dog walker or a pet sitter has to get in touch with you, and you're on the road, you have to get paid, you have to find some place to call them back, and so now everything's done with texts and emails, and a lot of the times, we meet the clients at first, when we first get a new client, we, myself and the dog walker, go to meet the dog and the mm -hmm. client to make sure the dog's going to let us in the door. Uh, you know, we, we don't take unfriendly clients. Uh, we just take happy dogs and healthy dogs. And um, You're in a great spot. Yeah. So, oh, it's, oh, yeah. And the clients are so nice. The people that will hire you to walk their dogs while they're at work are super sensitive, sweet people. They, these dogs are their children. Sure. You know, these are their kids, and they're going to take really well care of them. And, you know, it's nice to be a little bit selective when you have a smaller business like that, too, because yeah. you know you're going to have really nice dogs that are a joy to walk, and you're not going to have, you know, a walk where you're fighting a marlin. I mean, you, right. it's, it's kind of like that in grooming, too. I mean, we want really nice, regular clients. It's not that we won't take a dog that has a problem. That's what we're all about. And I'm sure you help. We have helped many right, dogs. Right, you have helped many dogs become better dogs. And that's one thing. Right. I feel like we are the voice of the dogs. Oftentimes, owners need to be nudged in the right direction as far as making their dogs good canine citizens. Mm -hmm. um, or if you see a dog that's becoming obese, overweight. And I mean, sometimes people hire us to help it help their dogs lose weight of course but they're, but they're still giving them all the treats right. you know so you have to it's you know it's a fine line you got to be real careful with what you say because you don't want to lose a client you want to help the dog um, but um, I think that's that's a big part of what we do and I have all my employees stay in touch with me and if there's any problems with any dogs then you know let me know we'll talk to the client about it and see what we can do to make that a happier experience for so everybody. So you're interviewing them just as much as they're interviewing you right. really. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love it. Let me throw this to you here. As far as um, your clientele, you are being trusted with what you called I have two German shepherds. Mm -hmm. They're family. Yeah. Literally I look at them as family. You are being trusted to not only go into someone's home Mm -hmm. trusted in their home, right. but then trusted to take a family member out of a safe spot, yeah. unsupervised, because mm -hmm. you're in, in some ways at first a stranger, right. and then walking this family member and making, ma maintaining quality of life and safety for this family member. Very Put important. that into perspective. Yeah, that is really intense. If you think about it too much, you're like, oh my God. It's like walking have, a kid. Yeah, that that's much responsibility, right. <laughs> but it is like walking a yeah. kid. It is. And that's a real, you know, that's the reason why I think it's real important for the client to meet me 
I'm the ultimate responsible person to meet the dog walker who's going to be walking their dog. That dog walker is going to be that dog walk, that dog's dog walker for as long as that dog walker works for me. And I have two people that have been working for me over 15 years now. Nice. A couple other have been with me for over 10 years. And wow. then I've had a few that are less than that. And I just hired a new person starting tomorrow. So, but continuity to me is one of the best things because clients know they can go to my website read about all the dog walkers that work for me there and know that they've been with me a long time and that i, I back up everything that they do and i mm -hmm. i'm the backup dog walker or i do have a backup dog walker also but for the most part if somebody calls me at the last minute they've got they're sick mm -hmm. i've got an extra set of keys for everybody i just go and i walk those dogs which i said earlier is the best part of the job right and we and we've known some of your people like joyce yeah. I mean, Joyce has been a longtime customer of ours, and she always had had the most well-mannered dogs. Yes. So, you know, I'm sure that she imparts some of her, her training and good karma onto yeah. any dog that she walks. So Joyce just retired last yep. year, and mm -hmm. she started working for me in January mm -hmm. as my backup dog walker. Nice. Yeah. And she's, so she's already met several of my dog walker's dogs, and we've got one employee that's on vacation this week that she's walking her, some of her dogs. And uh, it's, she's delightful. I've known Joyce for over 10 years, mm -hmm. probably 15 years mm -hmm. now. So she's, she said, you know, when she retired, like, I want to go to work for you. I'm like, oh, oh I don't need anybody yet. She's like, <laughs> keep me in mind. And then January came, and I'm like, I need you. <laughs> so, yeah, she's awesome. You're getting some kudos mm -hmm. right now. Is it Karen Kiram? Uh, Karen Kinnearum. Right. Yeah. Right, Karen. She says, go, Cynthia Elke, go. <laughs> All right, Karen. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> like and share the stream anywhere you're watching. Jonathan Galassa is watching in uh, Crozet, Chris Turner in Charlottesville, John Gilmer in Charlottesville, Bill Granford, Almoro County, Dan Barnes in Richmond, Tim Ryan, Fluvanna County, Grace, Australia, and Richmond, just to name a few. Wow. Like and share the stream, guys. Let me throw this to you here. Um, talk to us about the Charlottesville and Central Virginia market and your business, because I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, is it more than 50% of households have a dog? Pretty much. And, and, and not, okay, so that is a good thing to start mm -hmm. a business. Very. Second aspect of starting a business in the niche that you chose to pursue, not a ton of competition in the space. There was not originally. Okay, there's is there a, more now? There's a lot more now. Okay. There's, there's a, I don't even like to mention the competition because sure. it makes me nervous, but I will say there's these online companies now. They're international companies like Rover.com. I am not Rover.com. Rover's Recess, totally different. You're going to meet exactly. us. Rover.com, they send you know people. Anybody can sign up with Rover.com and be a dog walker for it's them. It's almost like Uber. Yes, yeah. it is like yeah. Uber. It's like Uber. And they've yeah. had some problems. They've, of course they I, have. I, they've I had some I serious problems. I wouldn't be comfortable with that. No, you know? but a lot of people don't really mind. And I'm like, how could you not meet the person coming into your house? Yeah. So it's a different, but you know, one thing I will say, you know, one reason I think that um, the business in Alexandria got so big is because most people were commuting into D.C. to work. They were right. gone a lot. Whereas here, you know, you can get from one side of Charlottesville to the other in 10 minutes. So a lot of people can get home for lunch, you know, well, with our little arteries that we have now. I was going to, 10 minutes. Yeah, 10, <laughs> oh, 10, 15, you know, it's not, it's not bad, even though. I can't even get to Belmont in 10 it's minutes. It's not Northern Virginia is, her, is what you're saying. That's right, yeah. right. It's yeah. a lot. So right. we don't, the volume <clears throat> isn't here like it was there, which is fine with me. I don't want that kind of volume or that kind of responsibility again. I'm perfectly happy with what we've got going on right now. Well, it's nice to be comfortable to, with what you can manage with right. quality. You know, right. And end of story. I mean, you know, we could probably do twice as much as what we're doing, but it, why why would we stress out our facility and our people that way? Right. You know, we we just wouldn't do it. I well, love it. Right. Well, if, um, for me, the the main point of the business is to help dogs. You mm -hmm. know, and the same with you, dogs and cats, with what you're doing with your holistic food and everything. But for me, these dogs, and we've <laughs> helped raise hundreds of puppies. Puppies get crate trained. Yep. They're stuck home in a crate all day long, and they've got to get out at a timely manner, or else they're defeating the purpose of being kept in a crate. And um, that's very satisfying, you know. And then older dogs who are on medicine for two right. weeks because they're in, you know, it makes them incontinent, but they're on steroids for whatever reason, or or as they get older and they can't hold it as long. So we've we've helped. I mean, to me, that's like the best part of what we do, is we get to help dogs and they give it right back to you. you well, know, the they, nice they thing just, about Charlotte's will They love it. If you're in a service-oriented business, there is enough out there for everybody. Oh, yeah. There's, oh, yeah, there is. Service businesses are just going crazy. And it's the type of community, and 11 years doing it for us, where if you do well by 
um, one or two accounts or clients, they're going to talk you up mm -hmm. to others and your business starts snowballing right. because the community likes to support local. Mm -hmm. um, I love mm -hmm. that aspect about Charlottesville. I'm curious, the most challenging aspect of your business, running it as a businesswoman? The most challenging, I really, it's not very challenging, uh -huh. so I hate to make it sound like a piece of cake. Um, when I have to find a new employee, it makes me nervous. It makes everybody nervous, you know, finding new people. And um, I What so, do you look for in an employee? I, trust. Trust is really big. Mm -hmm. They have yeah. to be able to pass a criminal history background check. Um, I even say that in the ad so people don't call me if they can't pass a criminal history check. Because they're not, going in people's homes. Yeah, right? yeah. exactly. So, um, and I tend, you know, people think they're going to do it and, you know, oh, it'll be fine for a few weeks. No, I want at least a year commitment. I don't want turnover, and that, and so now, I mean, I can't get rid of the people. <laughs> no, no, I love, I, and my employees are the best. You hear that, Judah? Seven years <laughs> oh with Judah. Boy. I'm just joking, Judah. You know I love you. I say we have a love-hate relationship. I love him. He hates me. <laughs> no. Judah, I love you. You know I love you, Judah Wickhauer. He brings his dog to work. Seven I know. years. You let, you, you let him bring his dog to work. Seven That's years, awesome. Seven 50 hours a week. Oh, my gosh. That's great. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, I, you know. I couldn't do it without my employees. They're fabulous. Same. They all love, love, love their dogs. All of their clients' dogs are kind of like, you know, they feel like they're their own children in a way. So that's, um, I don't know, really, there's not a lot of challenges. I'm sorry. I wish I had more. Actually, the, the, the thing I find the hardest as a business <laughs> owner is the advertising aspect of yeah. it. Because now social media is the way to advertise, and I don't get it. I've just never really gotten into it, and I know I need to do it, so... Uh, we might be talking about that after the show. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> that's certainly that's do that. how Jerry and I met because I had no idea. I mean, I owned an advertising agency for 20 years. And, you know, great in print, copy TV, radio. It's all different. I had no idea how to advertise to millennials, but Jerry did, and that's how you and I got started. But, you know, and I, I think you're being, you know, you are amazing. You know how to build a brand. <laughs> you are a businesswoman. You know how to build auxiliary services to help the brand. I mean, since we've been working together, it's two year, over two years now. Mm -hmm. um, Self-serve dog wash, expanded your grooming. You created the, epi the, the number one outdoor party for dogs in Dog Fest. I mean, you have bands <laughs> like and parties. food trucks. I mean, come on, you, you're being well, humble. You, you are building yeah, a mecca but I, here. But I did need to learn how, how to think the way they think, you know. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a different curve. Well, thank yeah. you for saying that. Let me throw this to you here, and I want to you throw it to Cynthia. With what she's doing with this service-oriented business and, and having so much success with it, does it make it nostalgic? Get make you nostalgic with the service-oriented business that you've created? Because you no. offer amazing services. Well, thank, thank you. But no, it doesn't because it's so different. Hers is so kind of yes and no. I mean, it all kind of goes hand in hand you know, with making... Um, customers dog, happy. Well, making customers happy and making... It's, it's the holistic nature of the dog. I mean, uh, holistic to us doesn't mean just food. It's just like how the dogs feel about their environment and how they feel about their bodies and how they, how they move and activate their bodies. I mean, it's, it's all so interrelated with dogs uh, or cats or, or anybody. I mean, it, it's, it's not just we're selling a product. I mean, we're presenting, um, we like to say we're pet professional, you know, pet, pet lifestyle experts. I mean, that's really what we're doing. We are creating a lifestyle that makes it easy uh, for the, the average family of family of one, family of two, family of big, whatever, to, to be able to have a good relationship with their animals. You guys so. have both built brands and businesses around improving the quality of life of animals. Um, and she's doing it from a food and treats and grooming and, and, and bathing and health standpoint. You're doing it a lot from a health standpoint and mm -hmm. getting outside of a home. And when the owner and their, their human is around, they're getting personal uh, attention from someone that's trustworthy. I'm curious to what um, a day-to-day -day is for you. For uh, me personally? For you personally. Mm -hmm. I mean, you must be going everywhere within the community. Talk to us about the day-to-day. So really, my day-to-day, -day, it starts in the morning getting up, checking emails, checking texts, seeing what kind of schedule changes are, uh, people are requesting for the day. Might, might be people adding on walks mm -hmm. or giving their, telling me they're going to be on vacation next week or whatever. So I tend to that first. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then I walk my dog again. 
<laughs> What's your dog? <laughs> My dog's Roscoe. Roscoe? Yeah, he's a 70-pound ball of love. He's, okay. He's a hound, uh, boxer, American shepherd mix. He's just awesome. He's, he's, he's a big boy. He's, he's just, he goes to you? What? No, Animal no. connection? No, I, I haven't brought him in yet. No, I, you I need to bring him in. No, he's just... He, he gets, likes Nelson County. He gets, he likes, I live in Nelson County. So, and then I head on up here and, you know, um, just if I'm walking dogs, I'm walking dogs. If I'm not, I'm usually running around to different veterinarians, dropping off some of my little bone magnets and mm -hmm. trying to schmooze a little. You know, I think it's per, I think social media is great for advertising, but I also think face-to-face -face is one of the best things to keep doing with people. And cool. you like your farm, too. And, yeah. and your, your husband uh, likes yeah. the farm life. He's in the wine business, right? Mm -hmm. He or is. Or a vineyard. He's, right. Yeah. And we, don't, we actually have five acres. We don't have a farm. He, he is a vineyard. Oh, that's a farm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> a farm It's a farm, it's a farm, yeah. it's a farm yeah. you know. It's just it's a great place to hang out. Nelson County is very beautiful. So we love it down there. And um, it's just, it, my days are pretty easy, I have to say. I also have a couple of bookkeeping clients, so I do bookkeeping on the side. Nice. So sometimes I'm a little busy in town doing some bookkeeping, but, you know, I'm always always in touch with, with electronics these days. You can check your email, check your texts, and just keep things running, so it's, and it's great. And you're a pretty active volunteer, too, with the Companion Animal Fund. Yeah, that's oh. it. Yeah, so yep. I've served on the board of directors of the Companion yep. Animal Fund since it started in 2009. Or I think I started a, with Dr. Wood, with Dr. Dr. Wood, yeah. Dr. Chuck, who was in here with you all, mm -hmm. and uh, we have um, been. We're basically a fundraising organization. We're raising money to give to the local rescue groups who don't have time to raise money. I mean, a lot of them are getting better at raising money, but they're so over the top taking care of animals that. Mm -hmm. So we give grants out, and in uh, we've given over a hundred thousand dollars away in the last ten years to local animal res rescue groups. That's amazing. And we try to, I mean, no, we, we like the SPCA. They're, they're great, they're, but they're very well funded. So honestly, we'll tend to look more at the smaller ones that have a little bit greater need than the, the, the larger ones do. But um, yeah, it's very wonderful. I mean, you I have, you, know, you have one of the events coming up soon that I always like, you know, the, the big dog wash. Yeah. Oh, out, yeah, the outdoor dog wash that's over at Old Dominion. It's so right? much fun. People come by with their dogs, and it's really not very expensive. It's it's going to be in September again. I don't yeah. think we've nailed down a date yet, but we're out in the parking lot with hoses and tubs of water like over 50 and shampoo dogs. and fifty and dog wash, washes. Yeah, yeah we <laughs> over fifty people just come in. It's it's not very. The donation is like ten to or ten, fifteen, twenty dollars per dog and uh, that is a lot of fun. We have another big fundraiser that we just finished up in March that called the Howl and Growl Pub Prowl. That was really fun. That was a lot of fun. That's yeah. just we Those are on the mall. Those are on the mall. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. That's great. So we yep. We, yeah, yeah, people should look for that next year because right, I'm sure you'll have it next year. Well, we have but it, you yep. buy a ticket and you go to was it five different four different restaurants? Yeah, four, four different Fellini's restaurants. Was one of them, right? Yeah, yeah. we always yeah. start at Fellini's. Yeah. They've been they've been our stalwart place to begin. Was it Fellini's all the time? Violet Crown. Um, what was one after that? Well, we went to the um, the the new place across from the Draft House, which which is called it's not City Space, but it's it's the res it's called Reserve. Okay, right. It's uh, uh, and, and it's just a place where you can reserve. Commonwealth right? Reserve. Commonwealth Reserve. Yeah, right. that's a good one. And then yeah. we always end up the Nook. Yeah. Uh, the Nook right. is the last place Dr. Wood's wife owns that right. place. That's where we have all the des She makes a bar Cheesecake. full of desserts. <laughs> and uh, that's where all the silent auction items are. Mm -hmm. They're back there. So we pass the book around throughout the night to all yeah. the restaurants and people do the bidding and get back there and finish up back there. It's a lot of You get a glass of wine or a beer at each place. And the restaurants themselves provide hors d'oeuvres for everybody. That's amazing. So, it's fun. Yeah. It's really drinking fun. Drinking good beer, drinking good wine, eating good food, and hanging out with dogs. Yeah. <laughs> All for 50 what bucks. What could be better? Right. Yeah. <laughs> All for a good cause. So, right. yeah. Let's turn the Companion Animal Fund start to finish into a Sizzle Reel Harris. That'll be the end of that Sizzle Reel. i got to throw this to you. My wife is actively involved in the business. Literally has our 14-month-old son on one leg right now. Wow. <laughs> she is managing, pro doing project management. Social media, payables and receivables. Is he uh, on the payroll yet? He is Trey? on the payroll. We're, we're teaching our <laughs> All 14 right. month old to manage the company checkbook. There we go. Uh, she's watching the show right now. I will Way come home and say, You did this wrong, you did this wrong, you did this wrong, Jerry. Get better. She's giving us ways to improve. Atta girl, Lauren. Love her. Okay. <laughs> I got to ask this about working with your husband, the dynamic with that. I would be remiss if I didn't ask that. Yes. Yeah, so uh, it was tough. I have to say, because um, you were the boss. 
I was the boss. Yeah. yeah, I was the boss. I brought him in, and um, I actually made him a partner, a minor partner, uh, a few years down the road into that. But I thought it was difficult. I think it hurts your romance a little bit. I mean, we had been together for several years doing our own things, and then when I brought him in, then all we talked about was the business. Yeah. It was like, you know, wait, am I your, am I your wife? Actually, well, we was just, I mean, he was my boyfriend back then. We weren't married yet, but like, am I your girlfriend now or, or am I your business your partner? Boss. And so like you Ooh. just end up talking about your business too much. And it kind of, I think it hurt the romance a little bit. So when we moved down here, we did start Rover's Recess together. He was in it with me for a couple years, and we decided there really wasn't enough business for two people. So I said goodbye to him. <laughs> you go find something else. And he got into the vineyard business, which he, did, he loves. And it's been a lot better. I just, I think it's, I think it's hard working with your partner. I think there's 100 percent truth to that. Isn't it? Yeah, and and uh, you have to turn off the work. I was work. just gonna say that. You I did. can't do that. I know it was hard for us to do yeah, it too. Yeah, I just because like for 11 years, 70, 80 hours a week. Yeah. This is my child. Yeah. The and now you have a child. Not, now we have a child. I can't just go and turn it off. No. And it, maybe that's unhealthy. Mm -hmm. But it's just it's one difficult. of the reasons we've been successful. Well, that too. You know? It's both. So right. It's a catch-22. It is. And you just have to find time for romance. You know, you have to, like, really make yourself turn it off and just... Can you turn it off? Here's to that. Uh, yeah, I can now. Yeah. Now that I'm in a Monday through Friday business and he's not working with me. Yeah, Although we him. do, we do, you know, we still talk about our businesses together. We're still knocking around ideas and things like that. But we're not in the same business together. So it doesn't, what, what, I, what happens to me with Rover's Recess or what happens to him with his business doesn't affect us personally. Really. I like that. Yeah, you rock. You rock. You have a great like energy that. to you. Would you, let me throw this to you here. This is a deep question. Um, a dog person or a people person? You love people, too. I can tell. I do. You love the human connection, don't you? I do. I do. And, you know, I was raised in the military, okay. so I had to make, make new constantly. friends. I had to make new friends all the time. And I think, and my father, you know, rest, God rest his soul, he had the gift of gab like you wouldn't believe. And I got you it. You do, too. I got it. <laughs> I got it from my dad. You don't so. know any strangers. No, I don't know any strangers. And I, I do generally right. like people. And I think I'm a good judge of people character and one thing I'll take it back to saying that is my clients are wonderful they you know they all have big hearts too so mm -hmm. I don't mo almost everybody that is a client of mine is not a stranger to me and I treat the business very personally with them and with their dogs and, nice and uh, but I do love dogs though man they're they're I can't I <laughs> so haven't, I haven't really dogs. met a dog that I don't like I just love them all even the ones that are problem ones they're just still they're special. How can yeah. we... You crushed it. This, you've crushed this show. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank no, you. seriously. 40 minutes. Wow. It's been four... It felt like four minutes. Wow, I did. It you know, that went by like, like that. Like well, thank second. you so much for having me here. Rover's <laughs> Recess. How can we learn more? The folks that are watching mm. now that want to be a part of Rover's Recess. Well, you can go to roversrecess.com. Okay. Uh, I've got a, also on Facebook. I'm working on doing better with the social media. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Hello, Jerry. And uh, the phone, well by you. phone I number... Concept. Yeah, the phone number is 434-361-9122. You're getting some props right now from uh, Beth White. Oh, Beth. She says, way to go, Cynthia. You are doing awesome. Thank you. She uh, was a wonderful client who moved to Pennsylvania. Thank you, Beth. So she's watching in Pennsylvania right now. I know. Uh, we are Patricia Elke O'Neill. That is my sister. Yes. Your sister All right. is loving and watching you right now. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. Uh, Rick Henderson, we met you. Jeremy Stanwick is watching in D.C. Dan Barnes in Almoro County. Patty. Yes. Awesome. She is awesome. She's awesome. I don't I, bring anybody here that's not awesome. Come on. I thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed today's show. I love your positive energy. Thank you. I yeah. love the, uh, it's, uh, you, you, you came in with an energy and I felt it. And then you came and sat down here and that energy so kind that's of That's why the radiated. dogs like her too. Yeah. Right? See? Well, the dogs must be able to feel, you know they feel it. I think, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they do. Oh, I do. <laughs> but you know, you, you have positive energy too, which is why you brought me up to your level. You know, you're charging. Are you one who feels the energy too? With yeah. People? Yeah. yeah. So, so you can, you can go down or you can go up. So you, you came in happy and I came in happy too. I love so it. I love, I love it. it. Yeah. Rover's Recess, guys. Find them online. Rover's Recess. I'll say it again. Rover's Recess. Follow them on Facebook. She's nice. amazing. She's a local entrepreneur. Spotlighted here on What's Barking Local. Great work. All right. Wasn't that fun? It was so fun. High fives. There we high go. Fives.
Guys, Animal yep. Connection in the McIntyre Plaza, Central Virginia's longest running all natural pet store, 701 Allied Street, Suite E. Mm -hmm. She is changing the lives of animals across Central Virginia and has really, really, really built a business that's made the community better, 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 and even more better. Um, What's Barking Local is Wednesdays at 3 p.m. on the I Love Seville Network. Open your iPhone, put it in the calendar. If you want to learn about animals, if you want to learn about animals in our community, this is the show for you. An animal connection in the McIntyre Plaza is the spot you need to go. All right. Feel good about that? I like that. I like it too. I enjoyed this program. We will see you next Wednesday at 3 o'clock on What's Barking Local. All right. Enjoy your afternoon. Wasn't that fun? Awesome. So Thank you. Thank you. I love it. It was fun. It was so much more fun than I thought it was going to be. Oh, so see? Was, there we go. Natural. Thank you. Natural, natural, yeah. natural. I thank my dad.